Right, morning guys. We're at uh, Swincombe. Swincombe Farm today. Uh, we're going to be moving on down a pack horse track in a minute. Roughly where that sheep is there and heading back to Princetown. Lovely wooden bridge here crossing uh, the river Swincombe so this is obviously on Dartmoor we're going to take a look at this uh, abandoned farm cottage whoa the whole bridge moved I'll tell you something about it in a minute Here we go guys, found the entrance. Oh wow. for a cottage it's so tiny two story This belonged to a gentleman called John Bishop. No, not that John Bishop. A farm worker. A farm worker from up over on the next farm this way. Such a shame. It's gone to ruin. Okay guys, what we're going to do we're going to head on back to our track which I'm told is an old ancient pack horse track and it goes from Hexworthy to Princetown. It's going to be about a five mile walk. Stop and look at a few things on the way. But that's our first little find there. So now I've found my way, I did get slightly lost just then and we ended up over there where the horses are. We're on the right path. Now, 
we come back past John Bishop's cottage and we're heading up the old pack horse trail a cottage here look some description great big gate on it so Okay, so we're on the right track now. It's a bit hard going this one. Uh, don't know what all these buildings were. I better fly the drone when we come back. Let's head on out to our destination, which is Princetown, which is way in the middle of the moors. guys this is crock of gold it's an ancient tomb legend has it that there was gold buried with the person that was down here now there's two legends on this first one is one of the lads from the town near here village near here have been drinking and decided it was his night to find the gold. Came up here, moved this stone that was over the top of it and trapped his arm in it, under it. And he was stuck up here for two days before they realized where he was. Now the other legend uh, was that a school teacher used to use this nearby route to go to Tiverton. Anyway, he'd heard some of his school kids talking about this place and had actually even caned one of them for spreading stupid rumours. Anyway, Every time this school teacher walked past here, he could hear crying. And uh, one day he stopped to have a, he'd looked around, couldn't see nothing. But one day he stopped and had a look around and he found some pixies, one of which was crying because she'd just lost her hedgehog. So yeah, he then helped the pixies out, I suppose, I don't know. He cheered the pixies up, told them stories, and they gave him a pot of gold that was hidden in the tomb there. There's more to those two legends than that, but if you want to look them up, look up Crock of Gold, Dartmoor.
Right then guys, a uh, bit of a short video this week. Let's see if we can get you in. There we are, that's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of a short video this week. Um, trying to cut the video lengths down a bit for the algorithm. Uh, so yeah, wasn't a lot to see. Ooh, buggy, 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 buggy. There wasn't a lot to see uh, actually along the, the walk today. Just moorlands and peace and quiet. So yeah, uh, that's it, I'm done. I'm heading back to the car. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao for now.